Describe this corridor to me, please. Not very long. Mm-hmm. It has seven doors. Very good. With a patterned carpet. Very good. And whilst you're there and familiarising yourself with your surroundings, allow your subconscious mind to be drawn to a door. A door that will take you back, way, way back in time. Back to a life you've lived before this one. So just let me know which door your subconscious mind has chosen for you, which one you're most drawn to. Third door on the left. Very good. Just allow yourself to go down down to the third door on the left. As you go down to the third door on the left, you can relax deeper and deeper and deeper still. That's right. And just let me know when you're just outside that third door from the left. Yeah. Very good. And the next count of three. The door open to your past life. Just allow the information to come to you. You'd be pleased and delighted with what you can see and experience. Just allow the information to come to you. Seeing what you see, feeling what you feel in this lifetime. Get ready for the door to open on the count of three. One, two, three. The door opens to your past life now. And as the door opens, just describe to me what you can see or sense through that door. Sand. Sand, very good. Just allow yourself now to go through that door now. And now, allow yourself to be in the air where there's the sand. And the door closes behind you so you're fully submerged in this area where there's sand. And whilst you're there, just describe to me what else you're aware of and how does it look, this sandy place. Pyramid. Very good. Describe to me how the pyramid looks. Smooth. Very good. And how far away is this pyramid from you now? Not very. Very good. And now just allow yourself to glance down. Be aware of your arms and your legs so you can be aware of how you're dressed right now. Very good. And describe to me how you're dressed. No shoes. No shoes. White dress. It's white. Gold belt. Looks like a snake. And a gold belt which feels like a snake. That's very good. Now, allow the age to come to you of how old you feel you are. That comes to you now. Twenty. Twenty. Very good. And are you male or female in this lifetime? Female. Good. Now, as you're there, being aware of the pyramid and the way you're dressed and the age you are, just allow a name to come to you. What they call you in this lifetime, what it sounds like to you, on the count of three, one, two, Three, what do they call you in this life? Risa. Risa, have I got that right? Yes. Good. And now, an awareness of what year you feel it is, or what understand you have for the year, or what year you call it in in your time now. Just allow that to happen now. Two. Nine. Good. 
So as we go in 2-9. 2 9 Wonderful. Now, as you relax, allow the awareness of what you're doing here in this space to come to you on the count of three. One, two, three. What are you doing here in this moment? Observing. And tell me what you're observing. A city. A city. Can you describe that to me, how that city looks? Lower and a lot of buildings. Lower and lots of buildings. I'm up high. That's good. Why are you observing this right now? Any reason you're observing this? It's mine. Very good. Now, staying with this lifetime, just see if there is another name coming to you of what we would call the cell or family name, or if there's anything like that that is associated with you. If not, it's fine, but just see if that comes up. Allow that to come to you on the count of three. One, two, three. Arket. Arket. Wonderful. Now, staying with this lifetime, on the count of three, allow you to tell me the name of this city that happens now. What's the name of this city? Tripoli. Tripoli. Excellent. And as you relax into this experience now that you're having, allow yourself now to just move back in time, just five years, so you're at the age of 15 or thereabouts and allow yourself now to go back in time, staying with this lifetime to around the age of 15. One, two, three. Back to your age of 15 now, staying with this lifetime. And describe to me what you're aware of now at the age of 15. School. School. Tell me about school, what were you doing at this moment? A lesson. And what you're being taught or what you're doing in this lesson? History. History. That's good. And who else is here with you in this moment as you're learning? Friend Sam. Sam, okay. Can you describe Sam to me? Short dark hair, about five foot two, tanned. That's good. And how are you getting this information of the history? I can see her. You can see her, is that? Mm hmm. Describe the lady that you can see at this moment. Are you able to describe her for me? Matted hair. Mm hmm. Old. And do you know her name? No. Okay. What's she like? Mermaid. Do you say it again? A mermaid. Okay. Very good. And what makes you have that connection with her? 
that she's a mermaid. That's okay. Now, stay with this lifetime. Just allow yourself to go slightly further back in time again. Even further back. To being at the age of 10, staying with this lifetime. Staying with this lifetime around Egypt with the pet pyramids. Allow yourself to go back now. On the count of three, you'll be 10 years old. Stay with that same lifetime. One, two, three. 10 years old now. Tell me about your year of being 10. Parks. Parks. Describe these to me. The top of a hill. Mm-hmm. Zip wire. What else are you aware of when you see this area where you're looking at now? Lots of children, noise. Mm-hmm. Can you describe how the children are looking? Too many. Too many, that's fine. What are you doing here, being in this park or this area at the moment where you're looking? What are Me. you doing? Meeting a friend. Can you say that again, please? Meeting a friend. That's good. And what friend is this of yours? Sam. Sam. Very good. And now, somewhere, you know on the next count of three, staying at this age of being ten, allow yourself now to move to a time, a place where you sleep at night, or where you relax in what you would call home. Just allow yourself now, on the count of three, staying with this same lifetime now. Allow yourself to go to that time. The count of three now. One, two, three. Allow yourself now to travel to that place where you call home. And describe where you live or where you sleep at night. Describe that place to me. Grey. Mm-hmm. White. And now just allow yourself to go to a time when you're inside this place so you can describe a little more about how it looks. Allow that to happen on the count of three. One, two, three. Right. Brick, brick looking wall, white furniture, plant. That's good. And what else are you aware of? Ornaments. Is you aware of these ornaments now? Next time I click my fingers, you'll be able to tell me who looks after you or who's the main per people within this place where you live. That happens now. Me. Just you? Yeah. Okay. And are you aware of anybody else around? My son. Okay. Describe your son to me. Pale skin, blue eyes, mm -hmm. fair head, slim, tall. That's good. 
no, I'm not, it's going to three. Allow his name to come to you. One, two, three. What's Allison. It? Allison. Very good. Now stay in with this lifetime. Allow yourself to move further forward again. Further forward, back to that space where you're looking at the city, standing above. So allow yourself to go back to the age of 20 now. That happens now, looking at the city and the pyramid. Just let me know that you're there now. Yeah. Good. Now. Staying with this lifetime. We need to go within this lifetime of the city and the pyramids. Where you had a very enjoyable, happy experience. That you really enjoyed. Allow yourself to move to that time on the count of three. One, two, three. Time when you were really happy in that lifetime. And describe that to me. Okay, now, just allow yourself again to go back to that place where you have the pyramid and you're looking, just allow it to go back there, now, as you look at the pyramid and the city, as you're there now, how do you feel with, of that belonging to you? family rule. And emotionally, how do you feel about that? Pride. That's good. So allow yourself to see that air where the pyramid is now. As you now relax deeper and deeper, as you're aware now of being there. Stand in and see him in a moment. Allow yourself to move further forward in time. Further forward in time, staying with that lifetime. Which you now being at the age of 25. 25 now, that lifetime. Tell me about your 25th year. Hiding. Why are you hiding? Soldiers. Tell me about these soldiers, please. Invaded. Sorry to hear that. Invaded take over. Now, staying with this lifetime, I want you to go just back a little bit now, back a little bit to the moment of when you knew that there was first this invasion. Allow yourself to go to it now. And tell me about that when you first got to know about it. Messenger. Okay. Allow that to replay now so you're aware of how the messenger came to you to give you that information. On foot. Okay. And described. And now, just describe to me this messenger, how he looks, or she looks, the messenger, how do they look? He was a teenager. Okay. Dark, messy hair. Did you know his name? Set. 
that's good. And how did Set Lock giving you this news? It's good. How do you feel in this moment? Concerned. No. Allow yourself to move further forward just a little bit, staying with this lifetime to the moment when you realise that you first had to hide. Allow yourself to move forward to that time now. And tell me about that when you knew you first had to hide. And where were you when this happened? In a temple. Can you describe that temple to me? Double columns on the way in. Two sets of ten steps. Walk way up to a chair. Gold everywhere. Can you describe to me how this area where the chair is, what the chair looks like, and any specific decorations of gold? Gold and red. Now, so staying with this lifetime, did this temple, did it have a name to it at all? If it did, just let me know on the count of three. One, two, three. Two met. Two met. Excellent. Staying with this lifetime now move further forward again further forward to being at the age of 30 staying with this lifetime this happens one two three now at the age of 30 staying with this lifetime tell me what you're aware of now at this age in a market Dolls and animals walking about, noise, dusty. And what are you doing there at this market at the age of 30? Just walking through. Never done it before. You were telling me about the, the soldiers invade him. Tell me what was the outcome of those people that wanted to take over? They did it. Okay. Now, as you're going around this market, where do you rest or live or sleep at night? Where, where do you do that now? The street. Now, staying with this lifetime, I want you now to go to that point in this lifetime around the age of 30. 
where you're getting down to get some sleep at night. Allow that to unfold and happen. I count to three, one, two, three. And uh, allow yourself to get some sleep now. Where are you and what you're aware of? Mm -hmm. And what area are you in? Alleyway. Okay. Facts. Anything else you're aware of now? Patrolling. Who's patrolling? Soldiers. Do you know why they're patrolling? They're looking for me. Staying with this lifetime, allow yourself to move forward five years from now. One, two, three. Move five years further on. And tell me what you're aware of now. Calmer. I'm glad it's calmer. Settled. That's good. I found somewhere to stay. I'm pleased to hear that. Tell me where you're staying. With family. That's nice. Describe this family to me. The people you see. Two children, a boy and a girl. That's nice. Are you aware of the boy and girl's name? Okay. As you relax into this experience, now just go back a little bit in time. It's a little bit to when you first got introduced to the family or met the family. Your first experience with them and what led you to go and live with them. Allow that to unfold now. Tell me about that first. I stole food off them. How do they initially react to you stealing food from them? Angry. And who was it that first confronted you? The man. Describe the man to me, please. Not very old. Hmm. Dark hair. Very weathered. Scruffy clothes. No. There was obviously a moment when some kindness or understanding was shown through the family. Just allow yourself to move further forward to how that first happened between yourselves, yourself and this family. That happens now. Tell me about that, how the forgiveness first happened. She grabbed my arm initially in anger mm -hmm. 
And when we looked at each other, she recognised me. Describe this lady who grabbed your arm. Blue eyes, olive skin, very dark hair tied back in a bun. That's kind of them, that they recognised you. No, just let me know if any of the names of anybody in this family comes to you. If it doesn't, it's fine, but just see what happens on the count of three. One, two, three. The names of the family that you're aware of. Little boy is Sen. Sen, good. The girl is Teeth. Teeth. The mum is Lyra. That's a nice name. Now, she relaxes deeper and deeper into this experience. Allow yourself to move even further forward in time. Move further forward, so you're at the age of 47. That happens now. 47. And tell me what you're aware of now. 47. I'm still with them. Okay. And what do you do? Help the mum. Tell me the sorts of things that you do to help her. Cleaning, washing, getting food. Good. Now just move in further forward a little bit further in time. Just a little bit so you'll know. 50, staying with that lifetime. One, two, three, fifty years old. Tell me about that. The children are grown up. And what do the children do now? What you wear of the children, what do they do now? Mucking in the house as well. The girl more, the boy goes out. Did you get to hear about where you originally came from, where you originally lived? What's what's happening there now? Allow yourself to move even further forward now. Further forward, staying with this lifetime. 55. This happens now. 55. I'd like to know what you're aware of at 55. The dad is dead. Sorry to hear that. Do you know what happened to him? Very ill. Do you know what the matter with him was? Flu. Flu. Sorry to hear that. How did the family take it? Despair. Although he wasn't part of your family, how do you feel about it? 
the same. Now, as we now allow yourself to move even further forward, so you're at the age of 62, that unfolds now. 62. Tell me what is happening now. More invasion. Well, you've, what are you aware of with this invasion, invasion where you are now? Unrest. The peace is gone. Does it affect where you live much? Yeah. What sort of things have changed? You said the peace has gone. What sort of things have changed? Soldiers coming and forcing their way into the house. Taking things. Sorry to hear that. Do you know why they're doing that? We now move further forward again, further forward to the age of 66, that happens now, 66, I'd like to know about your 66 year, please. Not there. Okay. So now you're aware of just going back to your very last day of living in this lifetime. That happens now. Very last day of living. What are you aware of on this day? Running. Who are you running away from? Soldiers. Up an alleyway. Do you know what happened to the people who house you in? No. No, so you're aware it's like a videotape that could be fast forward or rewound. Next count of three, you go to your very last minute in this lifetime. Only taking on what emotions you feel comfortable taking on. Allow yourself now to go forward to your very last minute in this lifetime. One, two, three. Your very last minute. Are you aware of now your last minute? Laying on the floor, I can feel the cold stone on my face. Do you know how you got to end up being on the floor? Hit on the head. Sorry to hear that. And how old do you feel you are now? mid-fifties. Now, in a moment I'm going to count backwards from ten to zero. And zero will be your moment of passing. If any moment of this you experience anything or feel anything or hear anything, it's okay for you to just interrupt me. All right, now your final 10 seconds now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Footstep. 5, 4, 
three breath two one and zero you've just passed over now and tell me now you've just passed over what, what are you aware of in this moment in time or if there is such thing as time in the spirit world in this life between lives Release. You're aware of release. If I can get you to look back over this lifetime to see what any lesson may have been from this lifetime or any learning that you had from this lifetime, what would that lesson or learning be? Be prepared. So you're aware, subconscious mind, deep, deep level of being prepared and what that means. Don't take things for granted. And if it's appropriate, you can allow that, not taking things for granted, to go through with you to any life in the future you wish it to go through to. Is there anything from that lifetime that I didn't ask you that you would like to know more about? Were well, you quite happy? Now, is there any healing you wish to have? after this past life experience, either emotionally or physically? Emotionally. Okay. And tell me what part that is that you wish to have healed emotionally from that life experience you've just had. We'd like to have healed. Despair for things. I can't change. As you relax into this experience now, looking forward to the rest of your experience here at this event today. In a moment I'm going to awaken you from this deep relaxed state. I'm going to count up from one to three. And on three and only three your eyes will be open, you'll be refreshed, alert calm and confident and ready for the rest of the day and you're saying about your memory and just through going through that experience and allowing your body to go back into alignment just noticing maybe with surprise and delight at first in the most unexpected way of your memory improving all right now on three and only three your eyes will be open one, becoming aware of your hands resting comfortably on your lap. Two small movements, now that's right, and your fingers signaling that it'd be soon time to awaken from two up to three, eyes open, alert, and ready for the rest of your day. Oh. You okay? It's still recording, if you want to say anything. I cried. Oh, no, did you? I didn't yeah. notice that I when thought, I was looking at I you. I thought, well, I do you okay when I not on? I felt like, oh, oh it's just a recording. Yeah. Look, mm. like, oh, like, sorry. Like, like, you know, like when you're going to start crying. Oh, yeah. I think one because it was tickling me. Yeah. And I don't know if I was imagining it. It's a bit wet, so I think it all came out of the side. Oh. Well, that me. Yeah, I didn't see that when I was looking no, at you. Sorry about no, that. I don't know when that happened, but I feel like I've been absolutely howling my eyes out because I'm all. Yeah. You're okay because I like to make sure that you're yeah, yeah. fine coming out of this. In my eye, whites of my eyes red then. A little. Yeah, I didn't yeah. know if that was a sign. Oh, I had to. <laughs> <laughs> I had a feeling it might go down the Egypt route. I wasn't okay. looking for it. No. But I was all the way through thinking, 
why am I saying that? Where mm. did that word come from? And I can, vi I can still see it. I can yeah. still see the house and the road and the people. Good. Excellent. That was good. It was interesting. And you, I, I send that through to you via something called transfer now Do afterwards. Do you look to see if those names exist? I mean, all right, kids' names. Yeah, yeah. The surname. Yeah, it would be interesting to see. I try and sometimes. I end up doing so many of these and other regressions that I don't have so much time to no. look, but people well, do I, send I it through. I can't remember exactly what I said now. You, you, you will remember because it's on there. <laughs> I, I could always have a look, I suppose. Um, I, I kept seeing, uh, it's really silly because I know people know there's a connection, like an alien face. Oh, okay. Like the side, mm -hmm. a big eye, and it kept fading. All oh, interesting, through. yeah. But I didn't say anything. No. Well, it's on to remember it now. That's interesting. Because a lot of people that believe that the ancient Egypts might have had, had some kind of... Oh, yeah. absolutely. And I don't know if it's coincidental, because I certainly didn't look for it, but I've always watched things on e Egypt, and I think it's because I'm interested in it. Is mm. that why? Yeah. Because I've, I've been there. Yes. And um, I can't think of the name, who they called the alien god. Um, oh, uh, do you mean actually the one that Akhenaten? Akhenaten, that's yeah, it. Yeah. He had sort of that look. Yes. Like almost, a, it was more of an alien face, Not didn't look Egyptian, but I just thought while I was walking through the market, and it reminded me a little bit of Indiana Jones mm. type markers. So there's loads going on in animals, and I found that I didn't describe as detailed as I was seeing. Mm. That's okay. I could have said so much more, why didn't yeah. I? I'll tell you what I find really interesting. Some of you are very good at coming up with the information, but I've had historians have sessions with me, although they know consciously, and if when they come out, I can ask them anything, and they know far more than I do. I don't really know a lot about history, but when they're in hypnosis, they can't say a single thing about it. But it was so, there were so many colours and so many things I could have said to describe yeah. it better, but I just... In. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> yeah. that as long as you remember, about. as long but, as you remember. Yeah, I mean, you know, the market scenes with Indiana Jones. Yeah. And there's like a car comes through and the birds fly up in the air. There was so much going on and the mm. hustle and bustle of people in a market. Yeah. Like you described the house even now, very like a corner house and there's an alleyway up the side, door at the front, very small, mm. and the detail of the people. I can see it now. Why yes. didn't I say it? Yeah, yeah. Because we didn't have time if I described yeah, yeah. absolutely everything. But yeah. now that that picture's in my head, I'm thinking, I could now explore it consciously and think, I can walk up that road. Yeah. And I'm thinking now that I was chased up an alleyway and a wall fell on me. Oh, right, okay, because you said you were hit on the head. I, I assumed yeah. that it was... And that all I could think that there was rubble around me, mm. and I was hit on the head, although I don't know why, Mm. And it's that feeling of I'm kind of semi buried, but I can see the floor with one eye. And each time I blinked, that got fainter and fainter and fainter until I went. Yeah. I didn't oh, wow. tell you that either. No. <laughs> <laughs> I assumed you were hit by one of the soldiers, actually, yeah. when you said well, that. There was one behind me. Well, yeah. they, they were like, I don't know whether perhaps one of them leaping over the fence, over the wall, pushed the wall over. Mm. But I was aware that they were chasing me and they were behind me. Yeah. So was I royal? Yeah. Well, it seemed like you said it was yours. But you have to, if you do look at the names, it'd be interesting to, to see. Hmm, weird. Because you just think, because a little bit off you do think, oh, I'm making this up. Yeah, yeah. It's best just to say and then see what you, pops yeah, yeah. Into your head. yeah. Although the children's names are not said how I saw the word. Oh, okay, yeah, so yeah, that's remind, happened before. I can remember, like, did You're I called say, Sam. Sam was my friend at school, but the two little kids' names, did I say one was... Thies, but it was like H E double S. Oh right, okay. So I don't know if it was Thies. Th oh, it could be, yeah. So I didn't want. I don't want to start spelling things. But no, no, no. I saw the words. I can't remember the other one. S Sen, mm. Thies, but that was T H E S S. Is the it's almost like I saw them and I saw the words in front of them. Mm. It's weird, isn't it? But no, that's happened before with people. We'll do a spell check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was really weird. Does you do? genuinely feel like you're there. Yeah. Hmm. No, I'm glad you had a good experience anyway. And I'm glad I was able to do the healing as well. Is there anything you want to say whilst it's still recording? Um, 
I highly recommend. Oh, good, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you put this on your website? Uh, no, well, if you want me to, I can do. I don't mind. Oh, okay, if that's okay. Um, I mean, most of the time, a couple of times people say, oh, can you put it on? Yeah, that's yeah, fine. No, but obviously, mean. you know, if somebody pays out for it, sometimes they've had the most incredible ones and people go, oh, no, no, they just want to watch it themselves yeah. and they're a bit fearful well, of watching it. Well, I guess they'll watch it first because yeah. they look like, I don't know, a little lady sitting there. But I just <laughs> no, felt like I was... <laughs> like this and you think oh, I kept thinking put your head up and sit up straight and then you I just it's not a good look is it I'm sure <laughs> but, but no I don't mind but Thank I guess I'll well, look through it first yeah of course absolutely <laughs> yeah. I'll only do it with, with permission but I'd like, I would like to do it again yeah. because I just feel Egypt in general is something that's always fascinated me mm. um, I didn't like re religious education at school mm. until we got on to Egypt and then I was oh, like right. oh, now we're talking is it just coincidental? Yeah. I mean, I can have to say now, I totally believe that it happens. Yeah. Did I do that yes. because I have an interest in it or do I have an interest in it because I was there? Yeah. I find when you do this, more and more questions come yeah, yeah, than more you more get than you had, thought you had in the first place. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, but there's like, even when I meditate, where I sat at the bench is the meditation bench mm. and in the background was a pyramid. Yeah. So in, the, in a way, and it does it every time I meditate anyway, that it was almost leading me to, well, we're going down the Egyptian route this time. Yeah. Because I'm sure that you could, because I'd like to do it again at some point, but just think, will that come up again? Mm. Because you're consciously thinking of it mm. or randomly something else. Well, you can Be choose a different door if you want yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> or some people want to go through the same door well, and experience the same thing. was the one that had light command it. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Well, it was, uh, it was sunny, so, mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah. Definitely, so we'll book in again. Yeah, Where, Whereabouts are you? So I'm Gloucester, but I do offer online sessions yeah, as well. Yeah, that's quite a trek, isn't it? It is quite a trek, yes. Yeah.